Hey, this video is giving a very brief introduction into the IDA's Spectrum features. You want to access the Spectrum when clicking on Menu and then on Spectrum. And within the Spectrum we have different sub-modes or sub-views. You can access those different sub-views when clicking on Measurement and then you will see that right now it's Spectrum, Spectrogram being activated. We also provide the Spectrogram only the Delta Spectrum and the Spectrum. Within the Spectrum we can activate different traces such as the Maximum Trace and also the Minimum Trace. But I personally I like to work in the Spectrogram Spectrum Dual View because then especially you will see very nicely how much specific signals are pulsed or simply sporadically. So right now we're looking at GSM 900. Uh, we have a start frequency of 925 and a stop frequency of 960 megahertz. Our sweep time that is influenced by the RBW and by the VBW amounts to roughly 260 milliseconds. So in order to enhance that, in order to decrease the sweep time, we can also increase the RBW to, to for example, 50 kilohertz. Of course, that will increase our noise floor, but therefore we have now a much lower sweep time. And in order to further decrease the sweep time, meaning in order to uh, increase our signal detection chance. We can also switch off the video filter which is now amounting to 5 kilohertz. So when clicking on bandwidth and then on VBW we can switch the filter off and by that improve the sweep time even more. Of course now you can see that the noise floor is looking more noisy therefore I typically like to just use a slight video filtering. In case you wanna show some sort of long-term spectrogram, of course you can activate the spectrogram only so that you have a, long, a longer or a, a, a larger view on the spectrogram, but uh, this is still correlating to the sweep time. Of course, by now again, increasing the RBW to one megahertz, our displayed spectrogram becomes shorter. And if we take a very narrow RBW, and as the sweep time increases, also the scaling in our spectrogram increases. Let's assume you want to display just every 10th or every 20th trace and by that you want to create some sort of uh, one day full spectrogram. In such a case you can click on measurement and then you click on time resolution and based on that setting you can now change the time resolution so that for example only every second second or every fifth second you will add an additional trace in your spectrogram. Of course, taking something lower than 608 milliseconds would not make any sense now because 500 milliseconds, for example, is still too low. So we would still have more, um, more generated spectra than can be displayed, than would be displayed. As a consequence, we should now take, for example, two seconds and correspondingly you will see now that the sweep time is still staying the same but the time resolution is two seconds and every two second we'll have a additional track spectrum trace or a spectrogram trace in this view and of course by that also the scaling increases so right now we can already depict a range of more than 
400 or 500 seconds and depending on our time resolution setup we can of course also go to um, daily measurements covering one entire spectrogram for one entire day.